What's up everyone? It is your girl baby G and she is back. Oh, she's back in her room, not in the field, without taking a shower. So I'm definitely happy about that. So, if y'all are Catholic, y'all know what time it is. I am Catholic, don't worry, it's not gonna be a religious video, don't trip about it. I'm just saying, I am Catholic. And it is Lent. Which means, I can't eat meat on Fridays. There's more to it, but again, not a religious video. So, what we're doing today is making some shrimp scampi. Technically it's called shrimp scampi, but I got this recipe from this girl called Natasha's Kitchen. Kitchen, Jesus. So, and she calls it spaghetti with shrimp and creamy tomato sauce. Shrimp scampi. So, we're gonna do this. I made some shrimp alfredo stuff the other day. For this Friday and Wednesday, since it was Ash Wednesday, so two days out of the week, I couldn't eat meat. So, that's what we're doing. And I have my, and with this whole video, you can definitely see how you can cook in the barracks. Because most of the time, or some of the time, excuse me, you won't have a kitchen in your room. So you're going to have to makeshift your kitchen. But yeah, it's not that hard. It's pretty easy. All you need is a hot plate. I got my hot plate. I actually bought a new one. But I got it from Walmart for like $30. And it has two thingies. Let's see. I plugged it in. But, but yeah. So, we're just going to get all of our stuff. Ingredients. I feel so adult when I cook with actual ingredients. So, I think it's fun. And yeah. So, we're going to do that. And you're gonna come along with me. We're gonna cook some shrimp, some pasta. Uh, 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 uh. So what you're gonna need? I got my music playing in the background, so if you hear it, I'm gonna try to speak over it. But cause there ain't no better way to cook than without music. Uh, 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 uh. But so you're gonna need to boil a pot of water. So that's already on right now. It's heating up. She's getting there. And then the ingredients are going to be a pound of raw shrimp, shell removed. They got, they definitely threw the bag away, but they got them at Target, 110%. Got it at Target. They have like this bag at Target, which is exactly a pound, so you just gotta empty the whole bag. And they have like different varieties too. So, um, spaghetti, uh, angel hair spaghetti. So I just got this one. Olive oil, medium tomatoes, six of them, and I got those. I honestly got seven because I know myself I might mess up, but yeah. Uh, one onion, one small onion, or one fourth cup green of green onion. So I got the green green onion. Yeesh. After that, hot chili flakes. I couldn't find the whole thing with the name, the exact name of hot chili flakes. Give me a second. I left all my spices over here. Okay. That is, ooh, this works. I was, when I made my other spaghetti or pasta, I was using my other hot plate and it was not working because it wasn't even boiling the water. This shit is about to boil. But, so spices, uh, she said freaking, she said hot chili flakes. I was like, what are hot chili flakes? I literally Googled it in the middle of Walmart. And it said it showed crushed red pepper. So they're getting crushed red pepper real well. I don't even like it that much, so. And it's one fourth of a teaspoon. <laughs> Anyways, dried basil. They actually, she said either dried basil or fresh chopped basil. They have this at Walmart. I know, adulting. I didn't know they sold it like this. I was like, in the middle of Walmart, like, basil. Where the hell am I gonna find that? And then I found it. But, got that garlic. And I had garlic from when I did my other recipe. So I have that in butter, white wine. Oh my gosh, I feel so fancy when I cook with wine. But it tastes, you don't even really, like you sort of taste it. Cause I used it in the other one, on the other pasta that I made. And it's really good. I, I felt so fancy making it though. I was like, oh, throw some wine in. Oh, what? But yeah, wine. 
Um, she said in her other one, so dry white wine, and in her other recipe, she said like, she's like, I used the Chardonnay. Tell me why I was in the aisle to get some wine at Target. Trust me, I know my wine, but fancy wine, I was like, Chardonnay? Where the hell is the Stella Rose peach, right? You can throw that shit in the pasta though. So, she was like, a Chardonnay. I know Josh is a really good wine, like my sister-in-law drinks it. So, she had Chardonnay on it. Tastes pretty good with the first pasta, so we're gonna use this one because I still have the whole bottle. And heavy cream, and that heavy cream is literally just this one. Uh, salt and pepper and Parmesan. So the Parmesan, I just got this bag, this bag from Target, Target, you know, my favorite store. Um, yeah, so in it, she just says, it's basically the same Excuse me, I keep burping. It's basically the same like order and stuff like that with the first pasta. So we're just gonna boil this pasta, rinse it, all that stuff. Um, and then you're gonna wanna chop all your stuff up. So we're gonna chop up all the ingredients, put them in a bowl so they're all ready once the shrimp is cooked because then you're gonna do the shrimp first or after the pasta. Then after the shrimp, then you're gonna throw in your vegetables and everything that you chopped up. Stir that around, add the heavy cream, add the shrimp, add the pasta. Essentially it. But so we're gonna chop up all of the freaking whatchamacallit vegetables. Okay, so for the shrimp, you're gonna want it in like a bowl like this. And then she says to like pat dry it so all the ingredients actually stick to it. So I kind of dried most of it. There's still some water at the end, and I mean, a little bit of water ain't gonna hurt, cause <laughs> I honestly cooked the first shrimp for my other pasta. Well, it was still kind of frozen, so water ain't gonna hurt it. Uh, just pat, you can't even see. I'm over here pat drying, you can't even see. You're just like gonna mush it around and like just pat dry it. And then, I mean, there's still gonna be water. You can't get all the water out, and, and it's like liquidy. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Or the shrimp, how you're gonna season it? Okay, so she's just throwing those seasonings in there. Ah, uh, okay. your shrimp is nice and seasoned so honestly I'm probably just gonna put it back in the fridge so it stays cold and just not outside so honestly I think then let's see she she says she put olive oil in with the noodles and water and she said it helps it to not stick so we're just gonna throw oops y'all can't see me let me see. Let me try to adjust y'all. Okay, cool. You can see the pot. Okay, so we're just gonna throw like a little bit in. I'm not even gonna really like. That works. Just a little bit. So, did that. My god. Let me get my life together. We're just gonna throw all of the ingredients, like the vegetables and everything that has to go in the pan for the shrimp and the sauce this bowl so once it's ready just toss it in there the water is ready it's not necessarily boiling but you know some bubbles are coming up and i'm impatient we're glass time so whatever blessings on blessings on blessings <laughs> ah! So switch y'all back over here, hither, over hither. Damn, that's crooked. All right, so throwing in the pasta. Okay, so Finished all my tomatoes. They're all chopped and diced and all that good stuff. Then, whoops, that doesn't, oh, that goes in there. Okay, then I have 
my one clove of garlic already cut. Now it's time to cut the onion. Onion is all cooked. Cut of the one. We're going to put one cup of the one into this yours. Because we are fancy and we cook with the wine now. The Josh wine. <laughs> uh, I hate myself sometimes. Pretty funny though. We got all our strength and we are going to throw it onto the pan. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking like that. I'm sorry. I thought it was funny. Oh yeah. Any advice for cooking in the barracks? Keep your window open. So all the smells of what you're cooking goes out. I mean, you're gonna smell it regardless, but so it like processes through. Don't spray any like perfume or anything. Cause it just makes it worse. Not like I know from experience or anything. But, so she said in a flat layer, and yeah, this is going to be way better than my freaking shrimp before. All right, so everything up to the wine, which is basically all ready. So we're just going to let that do its thing so the butter doesn't freaking burn. So we added... Uh, added the tomato oh, then everything that we chopped up that which is the basil the green onion the clove garlic clove and the pepper just gonna throw all of that in there home girl said the one cup of one just try not to spill it everywhere as well okay Ooh. You can smell it, and I feel like a gourmet chef. Oh my god. Culinary school? Who? Teach yourself. Totally kidding. Props people who go to culinary school. Because they be knowing shit. And I be watching those cooking shows, and they're like, do this and that, and they say some weird ass shit, and they know exactly what they're talking about. So this is what it looks like before the heavy cream. It's just evaporating, doing its thing. But oh my god. It smells so delicious. <laughs> it smells really good. I'm excited. <laughs> Look at that stain. But yeah, make sure you have a window open. You can't see it. The curtain is covering it. But I have a window open so like the smell of the shrimp at least gets out. Because that's what's pretty raunchy. Or um, when you cooked broccoli. I cooked broccoli in here and it not just reeks because it's broccoli. Okay so about she said one fourth of the liquid and it's definitely one fourth and then to add in the heavy whipping cream so you know we're gonna add a little bit more because some of it stayed in the cup and uh, it's like who doesn't like heavy whipping cream? Just a, just a tad bit, just literally like a tad. Tad! Tad bit. Okay, so this is how it looks. Yas, baby. Dick looks shrimp. I know I said I was gonna stop talking like that, but you know, since I'm cooking, I feel like a French chef. <laughs> Now, oil was supposed to help not them stick. You want to know what they're doing? Sticking. Could have been my fault. Whatever. I ain't a chef. Am I a chef? Or am I not a chef? I feel like a chef. Because this is actually turning out pretty good. She said, and then some Parmesan. I'm literally going to add the rest of this bag. Because I love cheese. I love cheese. Now, this is the finished product. 
Oh my gosh! Look at all of that! Ooh! And I did that! Oh my god! Now we gotta see if it like tastes good. <laughs> Mwah! Did it so so? Went from being French to back to Spanish. Let's see. Let's see. Final taste test. I'm nervous. But I don't know if good. Remember this like shit. As y'all can see, I got my second fort ready. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's like, mm. it's good. Like the tomatoes, you throw the tomatoes on there, All right? Oh my god, I lost my tomatoes. It's bomb. I'm good. I should go to culinary school. Okay, Tong, try it. Give an honest review. I like it. Hell yeah. Mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Hell yeah, it's good. Got any water? Yeah. I'll take some water too. Okay. Success is good to everyone. Awesome. Okay, so today was a success with cooking the shrimp skimpy. Oh, 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 oh. Let me just put myself on a back rock down because it tasted delicious. I'm so proud of myself. I don't really cook shrimp that often. My dad is allergic, so we never really cooked shrimp when I was growing up, and I didn't try it until my sister-in-law made me try it. Shout out to Jess, thanks for making me try new things. You are a Catholic, there's a recipe. I made um, another recipe with shrimp, and it was like a shrimp fredicini alfredo, basically. Came out great too, proud of myself. Another pat on my back, <laughs> and yeah. That's, I'm really proud of myself. Go, go me, go me. My sergeant this week called me Queen G. I'm gonna go with it, Queen G. <laughs> okay, I'm done feeling myself for right now. <sighs> so that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe down below and share all this goodness with everybody. Everybody. Uh. But thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, stay blessed, stay safe, wear your masks because it's still a problem a year later, but whatever. Anyways, stay safe, stay blessed. I love you guys so much and thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye. She's got some nice long hair and you notice she's a bad chick. All the boys there can't help it, it's a habit.